The last few videos have focused on attaching blocks to articles. And the way we do it is pretty straightforward. You go into an article and choose which block you want to display by selecting it from the autocomplete field. But there's a problem with this method. It assumes you've already created the block you want to reference. What if you want to create a CTA block when you create an article directly from the article form? In this video, we'll configure the article content type so you can create a CTA block directly from the article edit form. And we'll do it using the inline entity form module. Now the entity reference field has an option which will create a referenced entity. So if I was to go into an article and search for a block which doesn't exist, it'll create a CTA with this as the label. But I'll still need to go into the custom block library section to fill out the body and upload an image. Let me demonstrate this now. First, go into structure, content types, and click on manage fields on the article row and edit the blocks field, which we created a few videos ago. And if you scroll down to the reference type section, you'll see this option, create reference entities if they don't already exist. Just check it and then click on save settings. What this option will do is if I was to enter in a label into the autocomplete field and no entity is found, or in this case, no block is found, the system will automatically create a CTA block. So let's go into content and I'll quickly demonstrate this and I'll edit an article. And let's just put in Drupal 10 because I know this doesn't exist and then click on save and keep published. Now, if we go back into structure, block layout, and click on custom block library, you will see that we have a CTA with the label of Drupal 10. But if we go and edit, we still need to upload an image and also put in a body field. So yes, the entity reference field can create referenced entities, but the editor will still have to come here and fill out the image and body. So with that, let's set up inline entity form. And the first thing we need to do is download the module. So let me quickly download it. Again, I'm using Drupal console. So in my terminal, I would type in Drupal module colon download inline inline underscore entity underscore form dash dash latest. And then click on extend and search for entity and then just check it and install it. Now setting up inline entity form is pretty straightforward. All we need to do is select a different field widget on the blocks field. So go into structure, content types, and then click on manage form display on the article row and scroll down to the block section and from the widget dropdown, select inline entity form complex. And let's quickly configure the widget and we'll leave everything as is, but let's also check allow users to add existing custom block entities. And then just click on update. This will allow a user to create entities as well as selecting existing ones. And then just click on save. Okay, so now if we go back to one of our articles. So let's choose test article without CTA. You can see that there's no CTA on the left. Let's edit that article. And from here, you get two options. You can create a new custom block or you can add an existing one. If you click on add a new, 
you will see that we get pretty much the edit form for the CTA. So let me just put in news, newsletter CTA and I'll also paste in some dummy text. And then click on create custom block and let's also select an existing one. So click on add existing custom block and let's search for Drupal and add in the Drupal 8 CTA and then make sure you click on add custom block. And here you can also reorder them, which is very powerful. And then click on save and keep published. So here on the left, you have the two CTA blocks which we added in. So that's how you use inline entity form. It's a very powerful module which you'll use on a lot of projects. It'll make an editor's life so much easier.